You might think that you are smart because you're good at studying. You might think that you are smart because you're good at solving problems. You might think that you are smart because of another reason. But what is intelligence anyway and where does it come from? That is the question that I am going to answer today. Welcome to Brains Applied. If you have not subscribed yet, shame on you. Press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive a notification next time, next Friday, when I upload a new video. You look like an intelligent person, so you should do so. But what is intelligence anyway? As a matter of fact, psychologists are still arguing about this. There are different theories about what intelligence exactly is. The first theory is the one of general intelligence. The general intelligence theory states that if you're intelligent, you will also be good at solving puzzles, mathematics, reading, and all the other things that you can imagine that have something to do with intelligence in some form. And this does sound kind of logical, but not all psychologists agree that this is true. The American psychologist Robert Sternberg proposed the triarchic theory of intelligence, which states that intelligence can be subdivided into three parts. The first part being the analytical part. If you're good at the analytical part, you will be very good at solving well-defined problems, for example, mathematical issues. The second part is the experiential part, which tells something about your creativity and about your intuition. The third part is the practical part. This states how good you are at solving less well-defined problems. For example, how do I fit a couch into my car for transportation? A certain guy named Michael Beldock didn't think that these three parts were enough, so he proposed another part, the part of emotional intelligence. If you have a high emotional intelligence, you will be good at emotionally interacting with other people. Another wild theory is the idea of fluid and crystallized intelligence, proposed by Raymond Cattell, a British psychologist. Fluid intelligence is quick and abstract. For example, when you need to remember a new route to your new job, it's a vague idea of the route, but you don't know what your route exactly looks like. Crystallized intelligence, on the other hand, is more learned knowledge. Knowledge that you got from experience. For example, the fact that Barack Obama was the first black president of the United States of America. Now we know what intelligence exactly is in three different ways, but where does intelligence come from? Researchers have taken a look at the intelligence level of monozygotic twins, that is twins that came from one egg cell, also known as identical twins, and they compared it to the IQ level of dizygotic or non-identical twins. Now you might be wondering why would researchers take a look at the intelligence level of different kinds of twins? The idea is that identical twins do have exactly the same DNA. So if being smart is in your genes, that would mean that identical twins do have the same level of intelligence. And they actually do. The researchers found a higher correlation in intelligence between identical twins in comparison to the intelligence in non-identical twins. Also, it appeared that when identical twins were raised apart, for example due to adoption, that there was a larger difference in intelligence level, although it was still relatively small. But this means that the environment will also have an influence on intelligence. So intelligence does depend on your genes as well as a bit on your environment. But never say, I can't help it, that I am not a smart person because there is something like a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. People with a fixed mindset think that they are stuck with the current skills that they have, while people with a growth mindset know that they have to leave their comfort zone. They know that they will fail, but they also know that they will learn from it. 
they are willingly to learn despite the consequences and this will bring them to higher levels in their life. And that is what I wanted to tell you today. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, press the like button so I know that people actually like this video and I will make more videos like this in the future. And also, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you receive a notification next time when I upload a new video and I will see you guys later.